What do you expect from these talks this week, especially given the reports that maybe China is going to come with a, a pared back? Yeah, I'm not sure actually that's really news, right? I mean, we, here we are in the 13th round of negotiations. This has been happening for a year and a half. Um, we know that China has been very reluctant to make these concessions on structural issues that are related to their industrial policy. Clearly, that stance hasn't changed. Maybe they're being a little bit vocal about that. Um, so I think, you know, what we're telling clients is best case here, maybe you get a reprieve in the escalation, i.e. maybe you don't get the tariff increase on October 15th from 25 percent to 30 percent on $250 billion of goods. But that's the best case, right? The worst case, and I think probably equal chances here, is that you do see escalation on October 15th. I think then the big question is, do you see those next round of tariffs implemented on, on December 15th? Ben, how do you think about it? This is probably the last best hope for the administration to get a significant trade deal before the election next November. And the leader of the Chinese delegation, uh, Liu He, has gone out of his way to dump cold water on expectations. He signaled that um, uh, he wants to take structural reforms off the agenda entirely. He's proposing a much narrower deal which would effectively be a complete Chinese victory. That is, the Trump administration would roll back all of the punitive tariffs uh, it has imposed, in return for which China will buy agricultural and energy goods, which it absolutely needs, which it would buy in its own interests. Yeah. And, of course, we know if this is all that this was really about was this idea of China buying more commodities, it probably would have happened over a year ago at this point. So why did we go through it? Libby, yeah. here, here's a key question. We, we focus a lot on presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren gaining in the polls, what that could mean for the markets. But she's just as hawkish on China, if not more so. So what could that mean to trade talks? Yeah, and that's a, it's a very good point. Now, she has um, indicated that she may not be such a believer in tariffs as much as President Trump is. However, I think this is a big however, that Democrats, any Democratic nominee, whether that's Elizabeth Warren or Joe Biden or anyone else, and, and we would say to our clients very early days, so this sort of talk about, you know, Warren being the, the ordained nominee, I think it's way too early. Anyway, is, is going yeah. to, to use a more ma multilateral approach, and that could be even more formidable in some ways to China, because this, this president, of course, has pursued more bilateral tariffs, bilateral trade negotiations. What I think you would see a Democrat do is sort of revisit uh, the TPP framework, trying to get our allies on board to isolate China. In some ways, that could be even worse for China.